hello guys so this is the problem number four in our book and uh, today we are going to calculate the total impedance of the circuits in figure 15.123 uh, this is basically the figure where the sub figures are a b and c uh, and here we have to express our answers in rectangular and polar forms and draw the impedance diagram okay so uh, in this circuit uh, first of all considering the part a of this circuit so let me have it let me move down and considering it okay so this uh, first circuit here is basically let me solve it now and here we have a resistor and the inductor here and the inductive reactance is also given here and that is basically x of l okay so before uh, going to solve this circuit here let us formulate a general strategy which we are going to follow here so suppose if you want to calculate the impedance in any circuit what we have to do we have to add all the uh, resistances whatever and whichever are here in this circuit and let me call them i and i have to sum them together so let me uh, draw it so uh, z equal to the all the resistances okay then what we have to do we have to look for all the e inductances which are available in our circuit and we have to add it with this one like plus inserted j and after it i have to add them like let me call it k so in this k what i have to do i have to add all the inductances and let me call them k okay so these are all the inductances which i have to add together and similarly after it minus j and add all the capacitive reactances okay so these are basically l okay so in this strategy at the end we will get the simplified impedance which will be composed of some component x plus j capital y or it can be minus as well so this will be the cumulative impedance of our circuit okay so we are going to follow the same strategy here so in our uh, circuit a what is basically the resistance so let me call it z of a and in z of a we have uh, only one resistance so that is basically the r and what is uh, here we have there a here we have basically the inductor so writing plus j here and with plus j i have only one inductor so let me write only one value here now writing its values here so it would be 6.8 plus j x of l is 8.2 okay so that is basically the impedance in uh, rectangular form and we can very easily calculate it in the form of uh, the polar as well if we want to represent it in the polar form what we will do we will write it like z and theta here so z here amplitude of z is basically 6.8 whole square plus 8.2 whole square and square root of it similarly theta is equal to the tangent inverse of y by x and that is 8.2 whole divided by 6.8 okay so in this manner we can calculate the values of z and theta and put it here and that would be in the polar format okay so uh, both of the formats so instead of this uh, we are going to use the calculator trick here and uh, in calculating it what we have to do let me first use this mode here and in mode i am going to select two which is the complex mode okay so in the complex mode what i am going to do here first of all let me write my values which are given here in the uh, rectangular form so 6.8 plus 8.2 and with it i have to write the iota because uh, this calculator doesn't have the j term so let me write iota here so uh, once i have written it it will be like this one or i can write it like this okay so in order to convert it into the polar form after writing it in the rectangular form what we have to do let us press shift here and here we can see that uh, in 2 it is written the complex here so 
pressing 2 here, we will see that there are basically 4 options and as we want to convert our rectangular form into the polar form, so it is the third option. So, now uh, pressing 3 here and uh, uh, you will see that answer will be converted. This arrow means the conversion. So, it will be converted uh, into the polar form. So, now let me press this and uh, I will see that it will be consist of the value here which is basically the let me write here 10 point what 10.65 okay with an angle of 5.50.33 okay so that is basically in ohm so this is basically the answer um, where we have found out the value in the rectangular form and also in the polar form as well okay so uh, these are basically the two forms where this is the polar form and this is the rectangular form okay now in order to represent them on the uh, impedance diagram what we can do here it will be like here the angle it will make will be 50.33 while the amplitude here will be 10.65 okay so that is the answer of part a where we have calculated all the values which were required similarly in order to solve the uh, part b of our question let me come over here okay so again following the same procedure or the same formulation which we have uh, developed here so now let me see that how many items do you have so i have two resistors and uh, one storing element and that is the capacitor here. So, in order to write the Z A here, what I have to do? I have to add R 1 plus R 2. Okay. And so, as we have the capacitor here, in order to represent the capacitive reactance here, what we have to do? I have to write here minus J and uh, then I will have to write the X of C. Okay. Writing their values, what I will get? Sorry, that is basically the Z B. So, Z B is equal to R 1 which is 2 ohm plus 10 ohm and minus J the value of X E is 6 ohm. Okay. So, calculating it what I will get I will get 12 minus J 6 ohm. Okay. So, now this is the um, impedance in rectangular form and in order to calculate it in the polar form let me go back here again and uh, again uh, writing the values in 12 minus 6 and then writing iota with it. So, this is now in the rectangular form again in order to calculate the values in the polar form what I have to do let me press shift here then uh, this 2 here. So, here I have to convert it in the uh, polar form. So, pressing 3 here and it will basically convert it into the polar form. I can also do it like this one. So, that is 13 point 13 point 4 and angle is minus 26 point 5. So, 13 point 4 and angle is minus 26 point 5. Okay. Uh, so, that is also in ohm. So, this one is basically in rectangular form while this one here is in polar form okay uh, similarly uh, what if you want to see that whether these calculative values are correct or not so in order to take a look here here uh, so let me find the magnitude here of this uh, quantity so let me call it gb and magnitude here so 12 square root 12 square plus minus 6 square and square root here. So, now uh, calculating it over here what will happen? So, 12 square plus 6 square ok. So, the value is 180 and calculating its square root. So, we uh, square root of 180 
that would be 13.4 and that is exactly the value which we have calculated for the uh, magnitude. Similarly, in order to find the value of theta, what we have to do? We have to write the tangent inverse of uh, minus 6 over 12 and calculating it, it will also give me minus 26.5 as well. Okay. So, now um, representing it, let me go down and represent it over the complex plane here what it will be it will be the minus 26.5 so minus 26.5 is basically the clockwise angle so that angle would be like some here somewhere here okay and the angle it will make will be 26.5 while the magnitude here will be 13.4 okay so that is the answer of part b similarly in order to calculate the values in part c here let me call it zc and here now let me see that how many resistances inductors and capacitor do i have here so here i have two resistors r1 R2 and two resistor XL1 and XL2 here as well. Okay. So now let me move on. There are basically two resistors here. So do, those are R1 plus R2 and the two induct inductive reactances are XL1 plus XL2. Okay. Uh, writing their values here, let me see that what are their values. So, R1 is 1K, R2 is 4K. Similarly, XL1 is 3K and this is 7K. So, R1 is 1 plus 4 is 5. Similarly, 3 plus 7 is 10. So, writing it here 5K plus J 10K. So, that is basically the total impedance in the circuit given in part c and this is again in the rectangular form so now calculating it in the polar form let me move again to the calculator okay so here 5000 plus 10000 and writing iota with it it will be like this one okay so this is my value and in order to convert it into the uh, polar form what i have to do i have to press shift and complex and writing three here and equal equal to that is 11180 okay so 11180 point something and that something is 0.33 point Three, three or three four and the angle it makes with the plane is basically the 63.43 and this is in ohm okay so now we have our answer the first one here is basically in the form of the rectangular form while the second one here is basically in the polar form okay uh, so that is basically the answer um, i hope you have understood all the steps which we have carried out in this problem here the formulation which we will be using throughout in this chapter and this formulation is very important for you to grasp the concepts in impedance calculation so thank you so much and i will see you with some more examples in our upcoming videos stay tuned and i will see you soon